So we were running boot camps at five in the morning till about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and making good money doing it. I think that's important to really get the context of where this started, because oftentimes they think, well, I got to come up with this you know, shotgun of an idea that has to be just perfect. Not true. I was a coach, a business coach and a consultant to personal trainers because I used to have five personal training businesses in the early 2000s, uh, gyms in San Diego. I sold them off and I started coaching and consulting personal trainers and everything was going great, man. Everybody was uh, making money. Well, then of course the economy crashed in 2008 and when it did there was less and less one-on-one -on -one personal trainers making money which meant that I had less and less coaching clients to make money from because I was their consultant and so I quickly had to figure out like how to pivot and still make money for my for my family and and pay for my mortgage and and my two kids etc and so right around that time of course if you remember back there was boot camps happening outdoors when personal trainers were running boot camps in parks and school parking lots and stuff and, and in my industry, in the personal training industry, we personal trainers always looked at boot camps almost as a redheaded stepchild. Like, hey, my real, my real bread and butter is one-on-one -on -one personal training. That's how I make most of my money. But on uh, one, one hour a day or on weekends, I'll run fitness boot camps. Well, when the economy crashed in 2008, 2009, and now no one could afford one-on-one -on -one personal training because it's just way too expensive, all of a sudden I realized this is the time to turn this outdoor boot camp that everyone looks at as a side hustle into a mainstream business model. And so by 2010, we had our first indoor boot camp running and uh, I didn't even know if the model would work. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna run it inside of a gymnastic center because I'm not gonna go sign a five-year lease. And so gymnastic centers don't open until, uh, you know, after 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. So we were running boot camps at five in the morning till about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and making good money doing it. And that's when I realized, hey, if I can bring boot camps indoors and run six to seven classes or sessions a day, I could charge people a lot less, which means more people can afford $150 a month than $600 to $800 a month. And now it's weatherproof, which means I can do it all across the country, all around the globe. You could do it in the winter time, whether it's raining, snowing, whatever. And so really it was out of a, one out of desperation for money and two out of a disaster, a financial disaster, the economic crash where Fit Body Bootcamp was born. And people go, well, you just got lucky, right place, right time. And I go, let me just remind you of one other person. And there's literally dozens of other people who have built their millions like I have as a byproduct of the economic crash, Gary Vaynerchuk. He started VaynerMedia right at 2009 as the economy crashed, less people were spending money on, on Facebook buying ads and stuff. And so he knew this was the opportunity to buy traffic at wholesale. And so he went all in just like I did, just like probably hundreds of thousands of other people did who weren't afraid to expand while everyone else was afraid and therefore contracted.